Brent Chapman here, and we've been traveling all over the country for the Major League Fishing Bass Pro Tour this year. Wherever I go fishing, Max's tires take me there. Fast forward to North Carolina. You know, North Carolina, it's a long ways from Kansas, so I don't have a ton of experience in North Carolina, but I do have some special memories for sure. Early, early in my career, late 90s, something that I'll never forget about North Carolina. It's where I cashed my first official check as an actual full-time angler on, on uh, it was that back then it was the Bassmaster uh, Top 100s. We were down on the Noose and Trent River, down on the coast of North Carolina, a tidal fishery. And it's where I went and, and got my first official paycheck as a, as a full-time angler. So I'll always remember that, uh, a, a special fishery. It was, uh, it was a tough fishery, but it was one of those that I, I got in there, I ground it out for uh, four days and got my first official check. So from a confidence booster, I'll never forget that been many years where we haven't fished North Carolina and haven't built a lot of memories but one that really comes to mind was uh, we were there last year for a, a Bass Pro Tour uh, Cup event and it was one of those that I came real close uh, came in the, uh, had a rally in the third period moved all the way up almost won the event finished second and uh, one of those events I, I will truly never forget to uh, to have such a good event there and awesome fisheries ar around that area and then uh, this year we got into the Raleigh Durham area, fished some amazing fisheries down there. Stuff that normally, when we fish on the tour, we could never fish because typically we go to the biggest bodies of water. So that's what's really cool about those smaller fisheries. With only 40 of us out there on the water, we get to go to some places that we've never been before. We go to a lake I'd never really heard of until we go there called Jordan Lake. And guys, this thing has some big ones. We hit those things perfect. It was March, the water was high. We've had like three or four foot of water in the bushes. It was early springtime, the fish were just coming up and we hit it perfect. All these big pre-spawn bass caught a lot of five to seven pounders in practice and a few in the tournament. Then we moved over to a lake called Falls Lake for, for the next round and another lake that's full of big fish and, and uh, completely different. The one was full of bushes and trees. This one was more of a rocky, uh, steeper mountainous type of lake. and, and uh, Jordan Lake, Falls Lake, those were really unique to us, but great fisheries. Th those are two lakes that normally we would have never fished, but with this new Bass Pro Tour event, we got to go there and check these places out. So I'm hoping real soon we'll be back to the Raleigh-Durham area as well. So there it is, North Carolina. They've got some big bodies of water, but they got a lot of great small ones as well. They got saltwater fishing as well. The scenery is amazing, good weather, always a good stop in North Carolina. Wherever I go fishing, anywhere in the country, Maxis takes me there.